my prayer be properly captured. It was not about only restricting the Honorable Zake from accessing the premises by, by the security at Parliament. There was also another limb to it. Appearing before the committee here in defiance of the Speaker's directive, which may cause sub, I mean, other proceedings to be uh, uh, preferred against him, another church being preferred against him, to chair, and also not to be seen like uh, he himself is coming here to oppose what the speaker decided as against other members because what we have learned, Chair, if you can cross-check here in the, uh, for consistency purposes, what we have learned in the Committee of Legal, the members who have appeared there, the Chair has chased them away. The Chair has chased them away. The Honorable Nwagaba and the Honorable uh, of Bamunadika. They have been chased away from that committee of legal. So, do, you have, do you have record for that? Chair, I, I, have, you I have, just requested, have just requested that you cross check. You no, cross -check. you have to provide the evidence to this committee because now you, you cannot give me work to go and cross check. Provide the evidence that some members have been chased away from what? Because what you are giving, the communication you are giving, you are lying to the nation. You are giving sure. false information. Can you provide, can you give evidence to ascertain your, your allegation? Do you have any proof? Yes, so I can prove it, Chair. Yeah, you do it now. You no, not it now. I didn't know you would need to demand for evidence. That's if you if you require evidence, so I can it, produce it. Is, it is wrong to, to, to quote it no, now. No, it is not it wrong. Is wrong to quote it's it not now. Wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. true. I stand by what I've stated, that this is the no. correct position. They have been chased away from the committee. Are you also a member of that committee? Yes. Do you sit in that committee? I've been there when you had, when you, you stood over the matter for a ruling. I have been there. So you were collecting you know rumors along the parliamentary corridor, which is not correct. Chair, I'm giving you, you facts, you, not you, rumors. You, you are a respectable lawyer. So, avoid rumors. Avoid collecting rumors. You know, this issue, you cannot, you can even push it up to the next parliament. We shall be sitting in the next parliament. But, you know, it is for the good of your, your, your client. It is for the good of this committee, for the Most good of, of the parliament. The Most of I hope you wish parliament well and this committee. Most of the chair. Yes. So, tomorrow, same time, we expect you to be here with your work. But, but the complainant said you should not be here tomorrow. Uganda, Yancha. Okay, well, you can proceed and you also tell us why it's okay if it is part of the prayers. It's part of the prayers, okay. the Honorable Chair. Uh, my client is not before this committee. And, uh, <coughs> Chair, we are making a prayer that you be pleased to suspend these proceedings on grounds that our client cannot access the precincts of parliament. Chair, you are aware, and it's on record, last week, the right honorable speaker issued a directive that whoever moved out of the house in protest against the ongoing abductions and also government's failure to produce a statement to that effect to give account for the disappearances that they shouldn't participate in committee proceedings as well. And the Honorable Chair, are you aware? The Honorable Zake is one of the principal MPs who moved out of the house. Actually, not only moved out of the house, but he's one of the leaders who organized the others to storm out of the house in protest against the ongoing abduction. They abductions going on and uh, the failure of the government or the lead of government business to heed to the directive of the speaker to produce a statement giving a full account. So chair, under those circumstances our client wouldn't be permitted to be here and indeed, if he made his way here, uh, there are concerns that he would face the wrath of the security uh, because they are under instructions not to allow anyone to access the committee the proceed, the, to be part of these proceedings. That is one. Two, even if 
the security did not interfere with his movements. Definitely, he would be seen to be defying the directive of the speaker. And one of the accusations being investigated by this honorable committee against my client is the, according to the record that has come out here from the witnesses who have testified before here, disrespecting the, the, the orders of the speaker. So you wouldn't want to be in that kind of situation again. OERS would be brought here to answer those charges of defying the speaker's directive. So he's in the process of sitting with other colleagues to see how that directive can be maybe challenged in the Constitutional Court to pave way for the, this committee to proceed properly. But in the circumstances, right, I mean, Chair, you'll bear with us. The directive still stands until the standoff is rescinded, rather the directive is rescinded, and the stalemate or standoff, one or the other, is resolved by the administration of parliament. So we pray that you be pleased to suspend the proceedings for him to be here. We so pray, Chair. Thank you. Did he receive a written communication or a verbal, he had a verbal communication of the speaker? Because I, for one, have not received a copy of any communication from the speaker detailing that some members of parliament will not be accessing the president of parliament. And for that matter, uh, I've not, maybe if you can, you can share with me or you share with this committee a copy of, of that communication. In any case, the other time when we wrote to you, we stated clearly that Zakia has a right to be represented by his lawyer. And uh, you are rightly here representing him. And uh, for that matter, we are going to proceed. No, Chair, I need to respond to what you have said, whether he has received any communication. Okay, okay. Chair, the speaker went on record on the floor of the house, and it's on the hazard. So it's not uh, hearsay, it's not a uh, matter which is in the corridors. And whatever the speaker makes on record on the floor of parliament, the speaker's directive is captured on the hazard. So it is there. It's uh, not about to hear say two. My presence here, Chair, I can see you are a serious chair. Be, I, mean, I think you need to listen to me, Chair. I'm listening. Yes, you need, if, if it would appear, you know, even just giving me this opportunity to be heard, it's difficult. Chair, the point here is, you are saying, uh, you are rushing to take a decision, not even consulting your colleagues, not even listening to the application that I have made, that you are going to sit as a committee to take a decision, then you are taking a unilateral decision, Chair. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, no, we must allow him to proceed, because he's saying we are not giving him time. And I want to ask him to explain whether Zake is appearing here as a member of parliament or as a witness. Is he coming to appear here as a member of parliament or as a witness? Chair, if he is to appear as a witness, he himself has to be here. The lawyer can't be a witness. I can't be a witness. You get it? I can't be a witness standing in as a witness for the Honorable Zake. So if he is required to be here in the capacity of the witness, then he has to be here as a member of parliament because he's being investigated as a member of parliament. He's not being investigated as a stranger, as an outsider. We He's have invited him to appear here as a witness, but not as a in member. In his of capacity parliament. as a member of as parliament. As a witness. So, Honorable Chair, it is our prayer if it's not ready if you are not ready to entertain it, to listen to us and take a decision. Because this is the prayer. Ordinarily I would request I make my prayer. You sit as a committee, you take a decision. But if that is not going to be the case, Allow me, Chair, if you have taken your decision to proceed, the Honorable Zaki has got a right to have representation. We permit me, if you are proceeding that way, I withdraw from these proceedings. Because my instruction is to come and make a prayer that oh, the Honorable Zaki is incapacitated because of the circumstances occasioned by the directive of the Speaker. Uh, well, well, thank you. 
So with your permission, the Honorable Chair, if you are proceeding without even taking a decision on this matter, Honorable I Chair. beg to withdraw and you accord the Honorable Sake the right to get another lawyer because he has a right to have a representation. Uh, well, since you, you wanted to get the, consen the, consents of the, the consensus of the members, allow me to give opportunity to the Honorable Members to, to, to say something, then I make a ruling. But Honorable Chair, yeah. I think before the members, before you make a ruling, you should also listen to us because we are part of this case. Let's but after pass, the members, let's pass, you could let's give pass, us listen opportunity. Listen to the Honorable Members, then we come to you. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, the lawyer, Honorable Elias Lukaku, has represented his issue. I want to request that you allow the two parties to step aside and uh, give time for the members of the committee to make an in-house decision. Just like five minutes uh, a break to them, and we uh, retreat here and make a decision and tell them our final decision. I so request. Are you thinking together? Let me hear from you, Bet. Honorable Bet Teddy. Mosi, Liomari Nechiroto, Kubakuwa Guza, Kurafuana, No Kremerako, O Kutuka Kubuanguzi, Dalawa Mugwe, Lubaruna Kumurindua, O Chasobe Drake and Muchida, Gawebu Zomuto Mutofu, and Akutusa Kumakura Gabi Roto Yo, O Oko Yak Fedewa, Kanko and Juride, Ava Brand Pro, Property Services Limited, Aveguri Dedinya, Mukutu Kirizi Roto Yavantu, Eviaku Sakutaka, Bagura, Wamunu Kutundu Takana Mayumba, Kurugudu Rua Uganda, Wamunu Queto Ruling Sea. Na mumawanga agatari gamu Nga USA, India Wamune wungereza Tulina estates Zwe doku zimbibwa Gano makula wukula Wegulire nyumbe yechiroto cho Uruwa lero Kube yeso woka Na wanonye zo kupangisa Tuzirina Nga atetusua nukukula akula nyetaka Ama yumba Oba estates zo Neze gombe sabuli mtu Oya gala savea Obo line chizibu chona Nga chie kusa kutaka Bitu kwase Gosirike Tusangiba kwe mti house Kumariro gusoka Room 5, Ewazana, Quintebe Road, Okuria Nechizimbe Cha Mugruma Empire, Osoro Kutukuida, Ohok to Wedizubaka, Quatsapu numbers are fee, Note Msav Msav Satu, BDM Mukaga, Tanu Munana Noti, Over Note Msav Noti Satu, Munana Bidinya, Note Msav Mwenda, Nek website www.brandpro.co.ug, Atemwe Bankuba Cheo, Ebia Mwibia Tere Day, Anti Osoro Kugula Poloti, Ohok Funi Nyumba, No Komao, Gabri Chimu. Chini maridadi sana Sema tukaba fedo uruwa lero Ngoko la gana brand pro Property services limited Tutu ukiriza viroto Thank you chair Mine is the same But as well We need to Grant A chance for Council No yedi ya sirukwago To give him chance And fair hearing Of what he has explained. Then it is not the same with the other two. Honorable Ed Allen said we need to retreat, we make a decision, and we communicate to Honorable Okwak. Can we hear from uh, Honorable Kinemak? Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Chair Just and Honorable Members. My humble request is that uh, we proceed, my humble request, for the reasons I'm going to give. Whoever is here is not here illegally or was not hijacked. Letters were written to us, meaning that those letters take precedent over the speaker's communication because the, speak, the clerk to parliament wrote letters to each one of us to come and attend this meeting. Number two, I was in the house when the speaker was giving a ruling and the speaker did not stop any member of parliament from coming or accessing parliament. She only noted that those that are boycotting. Are you explaining what the honorable? I was trying to inform the committee so that when you have an in house meeting, you also take no, my Ms. consideration. We, we are going to refer to the answer. Thirdly, the reason. We are going to refer to the answer. Th oh, perfect. But not Thirdly, the opinion you're giving. Okay, perfect. That's why we see a loop member, an honorable member. In this committee, I don't know why she was not stopped, and then the other NUP members would be stopped to access Parliament. Who is a NUP so, member? Herself. Honorable Teddy. Yes. So I was requesting, thirdly, my other issue is that these witnesses are from Rakai District. 
Honorable members, let us be sincere to the taxpayers. These witnesses belong to Parliament. They are going to incur the cost from Parliament. They came here last week. We couldn't proceed because of the service we had of the late Honorable Margaret Banga, which was genuine. But they made their way back. So will you have them again next time? Thirdly, I think from the beginning with our rules, I think we can listen to these witnesses. Why they were invited is that you wanted to hear from what happened in Rakai. So we can proceed and hear what the witnesses are saying and keep it on record. Then for the case of judgment, that will happen when you're writing your reports. But let's listen to these voices. Thank you so much. Well, That's my well, humble well, appeal. Well, Thank you, Chair. Uh, and to the media, when we sit here, we don't sit as members representing political affiliations. We sit as members of parliament with the duty, with the responsibility given to them. I didn't know that Honorable Teddy was a, a new member, but I was just looking at the honorable members here as committee members on rules, discipline, and privileges. How did you access here? Because I hear the new members are being blocked. Is it true? How did you access? How did you build the security? Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I have access to Parliament. Without any because problem. Because I saw this communication yes. uh, on, on our platform. Then I had to call because I saw it very, very important to be part of this committee to have a fair hearing from both sides. Uh, anyway, let, let's, let's give uh, the Honorable Lokwago and then uh, you, you retreat with our communicate in five minutes. Huh? No, Chair, just a procedure matter. It's a procedure matter. As you retreat to take a decision, there is a, a matter which is procedure is not okay. Chair, I, I can see there are three members here, members of parliament with the chair. So you are only four members here. For this committee to take a valid decision binding, there must be quorum. And uh, Chair, well, well, you know, can I make my presentation? Then you, you, see, you take a decision. You have to follow the rules, no, the chair, rules of chair, procedure. Chair, chair, you will take a decision. You read rule yes, 197. Yes, it can be frivolous, but Chair. You read rule 197 chair, and you get this Chair, committee. Chair. And how I, you proceed? I, I wish I could be listened to. Yeah. And you, chair, this is a quasi-judicial a quasi -judicial tribunal, a quasi-judicial body. This is not just any other and, committee. And this that's is why I'm guiding this you is a tribunal. To read rule 197 of our rules. Chair, of this is what I'm saying. This is a tribunal. I'm looking at a question of justice, a question of natural justice, where you have a committee sitting with only three members to take a decision that is binding. Well, well, point taken. Uh, you see now, even you're delaying yourself. We have given you five minutes to go out, then you come and we make a decision. Not check anyone, uh, or blocking anyone from accessing the President of Parliament, uh, because you are a new member. Otherwise, we will, we will not be having Honorable Teddy Nambose. Nambose? Honorable Teddy Nambose a woman member of parliament representing MPG district. She's here. How did she access parliament? Yet she's a staunch member of the NUP. So that, that complaint is not correct. Two, we have also listened to the concern of Honorable Kenya Matama, who has ferried about uh, five people, or more than five people, from Rakai, the same uh, uh, same meeting, and both of you, you are you, you are correct in your in your argument in your thinking. For this matter, let me read for you rules of procedure of Parliament. Rule one ninety seven. It is on quorum of committees. Rule 97, 197, 1 states that unless the House otherwise directs or these rules otherwise provides, 
the quorum of a committee of the House shall be one third of its members and shall only be required for the purpose of voting. We were not going to vote and we are not voting, but we are going to decide. Chair is deciding, you listen, deciding that this matter be adjourned until tomorrow, same day, rather same time, same room. Uh, tomorrow when you come, you will get... Chair, before you conclude, tomorrow I will not be around. I will not be around the whole of this week and I will put it in writing, so I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I can't make it. Well, you people, you gave us work and you're giving also money to the fourth estates because they are getting news, something to write. Definitely they will get money from whatever they are going to write. So you have given us work and uh, whether you're not coming tomorrow, you will receive a communication from the club. Secondly, there is also another issue which we are also investigating and we expected it for tomorrow. For tomorrow, same time, same room. So we will <coughs> proceed with that and I expect the lawyer representing Honorable Zake to come with Honorable Zake. To come with Honorable Zake. You have heard it from me. You have seen a new member here in the room. She has not been blocked. Nobody is being blocked. Zake is appearing before this committee as a witness, though he is still a member of parliament. Being suspended or being uh, uh, doesn't stop him from accessing this place. What I know, the speaker has not suspended any member from coming. There is no written communication to any member. The clerk has not issued any statement or any letter to any member preventing or stopping such a member from attending uh, parliamentary proceedings. To me, I think the Honourable Speaker was only threatening the privilege, the rules of privilege of the members of Parliament. That is. Chair, yes, yes, uh, I, <coughs> I request the Chair that my prayer be properly captured. It was not about only restricting the Honourable Zake from accessing the premises by, by the security at Parliament. Mm -hmm. There was also another limb to it, appearing before the committee here in defiance of the speaker's directive, which may cause sub, I mean, other proceedings to be uh, uh, preferred against him, another church being preferred against him. Two, chair, and also not to be seen like uh, he himself is coming here to oppose what the speaker decided as against other members because what we have learned, Chair, if you can cross check here in the, uh, for consistency purposes, what we have learned in the Committee of Rigo, the members who have appeared there, the Chair has chased them away. The Chair has chased them away. The Honorable Nuagaba and the Honorable uh, of Bamunadik. They have been chased away from that committee of legal. So, do, you have, do you have record for that? I've just requested that you cross check. You no, cross you have check. to provide the evidence to this committee because now you, you cannot give me what to go and cross check. Provide the evidence that some members have been chased away from what? Because what you are giving, the communication you are giving, you are lying to the nation. You are giving sure. false information. Can you provide, can you give evidence to ascertain your, your allegation? Do you have yeah. any proof? So yes, I can prove it, Chair. Yeah, you do it now. You no, do it. no, I didn't know you would demand for evidence. No. If, you, if you require evidence, so I can it, produce it. Is, it is wrong to, to, to quote no, it now. No, it is not it wrong. Is wrong to quote it's it not now. Wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. true. I stand by what I've stated, that this is the no. correct position. They have been chased away from the committee. Are you also a member of that committee? Yes. Do you sit in that committee? I've been there when you, had, when you, you stood over the matter of a ruling. I have been there. So you were collecting you know, rumors along the parliamentary corridor, which is not correct. 
chair, I'm giving you, you facts, you're, 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 you're a respectable lawyer. So, avoid rumors. Avoid collecting rumors. You know, this issue, you, cannot, you can even push it up to the next parliament. We shall be sitting in the next parliament. But, you know, it is for the good of your, your, your client. It is for the good of this committee, for the Most good of the parliament. The Most I the hope you wish parliament well and this committee. Most obliged the chair. Yes. So tomorrow, same time, we expect you to be here with but, your work. But, but the complainant said she will not be here tomorrow. We have not received, I have not received any, any, any formal communication. Parliament Mujiraba, a remote crisis. To Kirize, Parliament, a remote crisis. Nabobi Nini Chokola Katiaba, you forgot about my knee. Sipika Lagira Bibier, Committee and Uche, Ayogera Bibier, or rules and the discipline committee. A Rina Chea Balalaba committees in Aboba Kolabiabu. Can you imagine? Chea Wanagambi and Tieta Mani Speaker Bialagira last week. Chairman wa committee. Speaker e yali ku floor ya parliament ali na answered ngagamba talaba committee yona ekereza member wa parliament e ye kalaka se ya furu manga gamantino bagala ku funa list yo statement statement ya government kwabo abantu ababuzidwao speaker yali ku record yali ku floor ya parliament na ali subident ne honorable oh, oh, chair ono oh, one na ali subide Nebo yaliba dete yali mo house inti hansadi yaji sumanti yali mta chine speaker chipula da crisis seriwo speaker na akola ruringi na taji communicating yali ba chair yaba gamba ba chair person zibo nate ba kiri zomu ntu yenda ali mo kategori yo yaba kala kasa abafu mam parliamenti abale me debweru wa parliamenti okuri nyamu committee kaka tio no agamanti yeta jimani yiko chewu nyesa chewu nyesa either either simu esimbu Oba wali wechi zibwe cha manye chile mwawe. Se choku vili. Ita inza kushiftinga goro posts. Titu inza kukiriza bintu bifanana bintu kushiftinga goro posts. Buli joba gamba zake, aje wano, bamono nyele zako. Kakati ya gamba, ya haa, feza akete tumueta aganga member of parliament, tumueta aganga witness. Nga mujulizi. Yee, yee. Bamu jaku street. Bamu funana nga member of parliament. Mbu, ya yogere bi gambo nga member of parliament. Ya biwebula member of parliament chinyama tamu. Kakati ya te, Baga menti haa titumu weta ganga nga member wa parliament. Titumu weta aga jemo kategori. Ati itia. Bamu uzi sanga member wa parliament. So olaba balina echigende leruwa. Echoku agalo kufuti anga proceedings zizi no. Bagende mazo. Nibali mkachi 22 situation. Tiba inza kufayo. Ato manjibu liruo vera mchigu. Aba manye chigu wechifana. Nabu liruo geza kukuluwa nagano kutagala tagalo chive mchongera kunyweza. Ke katimba kano, boka kwa, boka wamu muli waliola bienkofu nga baje kutele mkatimba wedi. Buli wege zako kweta guru zanga kongera kanyueza, nga kongera kanyueza. Kati buli jeva koma, okuzanyisa tinkering with this, tinkering with that, okuruwa na gana nechino, uchino nechino, bayo ngira kwenyeweza. Kani imagini ya badale beda kupa gendene ba member ba parliament, ba satu, omu, babiri, ba satu, owe mpiji, owe chiri andongo, no owe ntuetue, omu, babiri, ba satu, Ku committee number, or the same member of parliament, we will not stand your chair. Fe te tu go on the directive ya speaker. Zake obuta be one. Si ku government ya go on the directive ya speaker. Njagala tu tegere keke. Na ye kwe walabi na dirira bano abamu juete kake bisango sango. Nti ye anyo manyo masipika nebi baba basa ziza. Kumu juete kako bisango. Echo kubiri. Kumu te kamu mbera. Ngaji bata demba noa gaboru arero. Jebata demu sechitoreko. Nibaba gamba mwemufurume. Kati singa ze wano nibaba mufurumia. Anabe ranga, tunabe ranga mumbe rabu etio. Kwa kakati, techite gereke kaha. Directive ya speaker. So, kwa ya, ya, ya funaruru wabane. Era actually chituwa galo kola. Meeting zigenda maso. Nga neo zale, nga hona lebo zake yomu kwa spia headinga. Ukulaba nti directive ya speaker tujituwa la mu parliament. Ukujiche... Uh, mm. Tuli munteka teka neba member ba parliament ya balalanga zake yo muku bo. Ukulaba anti, ruling ya speaker yu ba directive ye, tujituwa alamu constitutional court, tujituwa kanye, committees sobro proceedinga buru unji. Kati committees seji anza proceedinga. In fact, decision iso na committees and ziteki inga kati. Mumbera jeziri mu, nga bago bago baba member ba parliament. Atenga waliku order ya speaker na yo, etali, etali rescinded, etajidua o. Committee, nagyobi wako lakati bidi weru wama teka. 
tuli mukavuyo no sinze ze sirim parliament eri mukavuyo kerere kati kavuyo kavuyo eno murufuti futi je baita ligo conundrum bali muka mukatuba giro akatuba giro ka mateka akatuba giro ka orders kakati tomanya ani afurumya order eriwe e bindinga eriwe ta bindinga katuba giro ka mateka katuba giro ka order katuba giro ka bulichimu so yimbire yo jola ba era mbasasi doyo keta go muntu atali mumbera ngo no chea bwe mulabye kana katuba giro kajja mutwala tukinde kudayo tutule se tugenda kudayo tutule tusalewo muri de bulunji kinyama in fact kinyama tama yekanda zino kwekanda ga na afuruma agambye ye encha tagenda kuberawo asi tudabana abajesimanye rwa magwa era kai abazunza abaleta wanu andi abamutumye okuhiya lingi tena tandika baga manti committee yenyene kuita abajulizi nibuzize ye committee ya tulira wa okubayita ababana bajazunga nabo bana ababoja aboja abatambuza abakunguza bana afunya na accident makubo committee emala kuuliriza mujuliza asoka kinyama tama nera bobe yeta ago kuita yaba juliza abalala kinyama tama atekedwa na kugamba wali ku mu committee na gamba banange nyinayo omuntu yakola kino obe yakola kino gwensubiranga mujulizi mutufu mu musango kuri go bavunana zake twabagamba da twagala speaker twagala honale bodi wagaba honale bonambeshe honale bo nyeko nabalala Komiti ne tugambe genda kutule ilabu bebe itaka, obate bebe itaka. Eno ya tude uo kulaba ntibana bebe itaka, haba chinyama tamu. Kupanga ili ya tugamba, nje genda kumala kutula, ilabu baba julize bebe itaka, obate bebe itaka. Kati eno ya tulijotu bela uwan. Nzete uwa lilu naku komitulu ya lietu de kumusangu kwa chinyama tamu, 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 kwa chinyama So, eno mbeira ya kula ganti, bali mukatuba giru. Tibama nyi chakora, echo chemba bulira tibama nyi. About tomorrow's proceedings, I don't know whether we are even going to proceed or not because the one about Chinyama Tama herself has stormed out of the committee proceedings protesting the adjournment. She indicated that she is not available tomorrow, that the witnesses have been coming here, they have not been listened to, their, their testimonies have not been taken by them. And you wonder who took a decision to invite them as witnesses? They said they, deserve, they have the discretion to decide the witnesses they want. That this is not a hearing where there is an accuser and an accused. In which case, the accuser would bring witnesses and the accused would also bring their own witnesses. This is not the case. They said all the, all the witnesses are committee witnesses. And they have to sit as a committee, look at the proceedings, look at the record, look at the totality of the matter, and decide whether they want witnesses or not. I've been attending all the proceedings of this committee. Right from the beginning up to this very moment, nowhere has the committee ever taken a decision that they wanted those particular witnesses. And I was shocked to see the chairperson uh, addressing them as a committee witnesses that they introduced themselves. When did they take a decision that they need those witnesses who were brought all the way from Rwamagwa? Poor boys, you sympathize with them. They are just being used as pawns in these matters. They are just pawns. They should not waste their time here. So for, to, for us, we are going to sit down and take a decision one way or the other on how we are going to proceed with this matter. You said you are considering it challenge. Definitely, we, have to, we, are, we, are, we are sitting down with the Honorable Bozaki and other members of parliament to challenge this decision of the speaker, which we consider to be a travailleur, because she has no powers. She has no authority. She's not closed with the powers and authority to suspend members unilaterally like that without even subjecting them to that due process, without even naming them as per the rules, without suspending them officially on the floor of parliament out of the blue and say, you are suspended from all the committee sittings. That is illegal. It's an illegality. It's a nullity from the beginning. And we, we are considering challenging it in the constitution. But before we do that, the committee cannot proceed before it is successfully challenged. The committees cannot proceed in this Afghaza Dibana, where they are taking unconscionable decision. One committee, like this one on rules and discipline, they are taking a decision to proceed in total defiance of the director, the directive of the speaker. But again, other committees, like the one on legal and parliamentary affairs, they are saying, ah, ah, ah. For them, they are complying with the directive, and actually, they have chased away some members, the Honorable Nwagawa and the Honorable Sechitoreko. So you can imagine the inconsistencies. They, this is why we are saying they are in a legal conundrum. They are entangled in a terrible legal conundrum, and extricating themselves out of this particular situation is going to be a little difficult. And the more they continue 
digging in, the more they continue getting deep into it, the more they, con they, 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 they mess themselves up. Akakati, nze sektori korobati, nze member parliamenti weba amunani. Nze, tula kachika, kaliga ndi parliamentary committee affairs, ni government assurance. Mbuchikobo, batu isenga, chitongo lechira muzichi, inabye chile, teda message ni njifuna kusimu yange, integezo luo kubebi ya wanu, mu Uganda biba bya mbere bawo ninga abantu bayinzo kwa batu teze message batugete toze olebigenda ane tusitukiramu kirani baraka mwangi na wagambye konti njage na mukachi kubanga ndaba message ku simu ya tusene bagamba anti akubiriza akachi kabadde na fox odo ku rwa sentebe nategeza mbo abantu abatatula mu parliament ya wamu te batula mukachi ko tanyonyo de binji bisinga ka kati ekibuzo kyange kiri wamu the opposition ngafe Position ya fe kusonga ya obu chiku. Echa imi lideo elanga kusinzira mkama felopu watu gaidi. Ngobabu ituwa kanyo. Ba position ya chari. Yeri standard. Yeri echa ategeza ati obu chiku. Tuge nane miri muemirali. Echo kubiri. Buwebawe ni mawe chichu usemwe. Echo tunache manyo duvanya. Neka tembele we chetegeza. No kumpita singa wa de site. Dwa kwa chetegeza wacha hatu tegeza. Emini muja parliament ujikoli. Singa na de say tags. Hate meseji kusimu ya angete ya alizi. Ira ya jajone kumacha nenzi juki ze sawa tal Hira nenzi tukam, katika nonya tu agala kuingiro kutkanya, ne ba kama ba fe, lead of opposition ne timu yao, tu lewe kubanga chini, inzo kubereka, ati ne ba gamba chirala, ato inzo kubere no ne ba gamba chirala, sondo zetu yeye songe inkuru, ne katu la bera, chiriwe mavega chuo sasa, nti olaba kuna national level baribu bati, ne katu muntu kuchara ine chizibu cheta, muntu aline songe ndale injau, baba baribu bati, chitegeza waliwe cheta gokuteleza. Nika tulabewe buna azibira tuja kwa tufunye position over that. Actually, because my name a member of League and Parliamentary Committee Affairs. I've uh, entered into appearance for the committee meeting. And upon reaching there, I was told that uh, there is a position that those who are not attending plenary should also not attend committees. But to my dismay, I have an official communication on my phone. Even in the morning, I got a reminder to go. Because of the dynamics of politics of Uganda. So you may even be at home thinking that maybe now they based on that fact and the ground that this is the situation. Now, we have now the current trend and we need what uh, to follow up with and I uh, you know with the guidance of leader of position because our position is still clear that committee we must attend and preliminary we must stay out. So that is a position as per now unless there is a further communication over that. But if that is not the case, let's wait by close of business today. We shall get maybe further details over that. Did they explain to you exactly? Uh, no, no, not exactly. Because uh, if there was a clear explanation, uh, it would be on my, either on my communication when I was just summoning for the committee meeting. But I think there is nothing much, depending on emotions and someone whose argument maybe be, depends. So I can't tell that there is something which they have explained beyond that. I thank you. I'm still a member of parliament. So that's why the Reba to send a message on my phone. So for parliamentary business, even I'm entitled for order paper. So if that is the case, I'm still waiting to see the position of leader of opposition and the team and to forge the way forward. That's all. Attending and not because attending is not a question. Because I'm a member of parliament, fully elected by Bamunanika. So, so uh, if our position has been adjusted, I'm following the position of the opposition side. If we are to attend as decided, I'll do so. If we still have that position, I'm entitled to stand on that because I'm an opposition member of parliament. Uganda,